welcome back to the channel, my freedom, love, and two-way supporting patrons. Back with a new review for you today on a product I had sent to the channel. It's going to be the Better V3 Gun Belt. I was sent this free of charge. I like to make that up front with you guys so we have transparency on this channel. And uh, with that said, um, I'm also a huge fan of Better holsters, their holsters themselves. Um, I think they make quality holsters. Um, I've had, I think, six or seven of them throughout the years. Uh, some of them I don't have anymore just for pistols I don't own, but I've purchased all of those uh, with my own money out of my own pocket and have been a fan of theirs for a long time. So they went ahead and sent this new gun belt to the channel for review. So I'm going to go over it real, real quick with you and let you take a look at it and uh, we'll go over my uh, final thoughts on it. So this low profile buckle is CNC machined out of 70-75 billet aluminum. It is made with extra stiff, dual layered, 1.5 inch nylon webbing. It does come available in 7 different sizes, ranging from 26 inches to 53 inches. And all products are backed by their 30 day money back guarantee and a lifetime warranty. So here's a good look at the belt being worn here. I opted to go with the Coyote Brown color. It does come available in black as well. Now all the holsters I'm going to show using with this belt in this video were purchased by myself uh, from Vetter Holsters. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of Vetter Holsters, always have been, and uh, highly recommend their holsters. But like I said, those were all purchased with my own money. So where this belt, um, I feel it really excels, is how minimalist it is. So the buckle is almost non-existent, and it's easy on, easy off stays nice and flat with your body there so it's not sticking out like say a Core Essentials belt um, which I do have as well and so say for work I normally carry my uh, P365 and a better pocket locker holster and uh, pocket carry so say I get home from work and I'm wanting to switch out guns and uh, wear something else for going out say I want to wear a bigger holster or a bigger gun for going out so the easiest way I found to make adjustments is you go ahead and take that belt off and go ahead and flip it over. And I like to go ahead and feed it back through. Uh, for making these adjustments, you can do it just by wrapping it around your pant line as well without feeding it through. But I like to feed it through the first three belt loops on these pants and then go ahead and hook it back up. And then I'll go ahead and loosen that. And then I can use what uh, pistol I want. So say this is the Walther PPS M2 and a uh, better light tuck holster. Go ahead, slide it in there, and then I'll hold on to that buckle, and I'll go ahead and just tighten it down real good, and I'll go ahead, put that belt back on. And so right now that clip is riding, for the holster is riding inside between those two belt loops. So I can go ahead and I'll pop that back off real quick. And then I can go ahead and just wear this belt upside down if I want to, which I do sometimes just to make that adjustability a little bit easier. Um, otherwise, I'll go ahead and take it back off here. Oh, got caught on my loop. Take it back off, flip her over. We'll go ahead and feed her back through. And now I am all set up for uh, rocking that Walther PPS M2. Go ahead and slide that back in. And where this gun belt really excels as well is when you're carrying an appendix, that all stays so nice and flat there because that buckle is so small. On the Core Essentials, you got that huge buckle and you get those little micro adjustments from it. But when I'm carrying an appendix, because I got a little bit of a gut obviously, it goes ahead and pushes that buckle out a little bit and makes me print a little bit more. And so when I'm carrying with that belt, I have to rock the buckle over here to the side, which is kind of a pain in the butt. And then every once in a while, I'll get a kind of weird, hard rubbing right there. Whereas with this belt, just buckles right back up to the front there for appendix. Easy on, easy off, both gun and holster and belt. And easy peasy, lemon squeezy. As far as outside the waistband goes, you can see I got my Walther PPQ M1 there. It totally handles that weight just fine as well. Um, and this is a hot gun. Chamber's clear, but we do have a loaded mag in it. And uh, 
it handles that weight just fine. As you can see, belt keeps everything, does its job, keeps everything where it's supposed to be. All right, so let's go over my final thoughts of the V3 belt here. So my one con to it is gonna be that if you're someone who switches your uh, carry style quite frequently, um, having to take the belt off and uh, reverse it to make the adjustments in order to get the correct tension that you're wanting out of the belt can be somewhat of a pain in the butt. Now that never takes any longer than a minute. Um, I've gotten pretty quick at it where I can do it like 30 seconds. That's not a huge con, but for some of you out there, that may be. Now, the rest of it is all pros is so far through my testing that I've seen. Uh, the rigidity out of this belt is absolutely fantastic. Um, it is very lightweight. I'm guessing it's probably half the weight of my Core Essentials belt. So, and you can feel that when you're wearing it. Uh, wears a lot lighter on your waist. So that part of it's fantastic. Uh, the overall minimalist design of it is great. You don't have to worry about trying to tuck a tail back in the belt loops or wearing a belt keeper when wearing this because you don't have that tail. It tucks to the inside there and then is hook and looped in, of course. And then uh, where this belt really shines to me is the belt buckle itself. So it's such a minimalist design on there and the fact that I can wear it when I'm carrying an appendix and still wear the belt buckle going straight forward is a big deal to me. Whereas with the Core Essentials, I have to cant that off to the side and run it through the belt loops differently. And so I'll let you get a quick look at the belt buckle difference between the Core Essentials and the uh, Vetter. So that Vetter is maybe a quarter of the size of the weight and um, size of that Core Essentials belt buckle. So that's a big, a big, big pro for this belt in my opinion. So um, after, you know, kind of trying it out for a month and a half, this is going to be my new EDC belt going forward. And um, I actually might end up picking up another one for myself in black, as I usually primarily wear black, but chose Coyote Brown for this review. So overall, I'm thoroughly happy with this belt and really impressed with it. And uh, it's just overall minimalist design and being able to still do everything that you're going to need it to do. So I'll have a link down in the description box to better holsters. Or you can pick up this belt or any of their holsters. Uh, full transparency, that is an affiliate link. Um, anything I get from that does go straight back into the channel and uh, covering cost of items to review as well as uh, especially ammunition right now as you guys all know is crazy high. So I'll have that link down in the description box. Uh, these belts retail for $54 I believe. And better holsters if you sign up for their emails are fantastic about running sales quite frequently where you can get 10% uh, off quite often, all the way up to 20% every now and then. And so you can go ahead and get a pretty good uh, sell price on this belt. So that's all I got for this one. Uh, thank you better for sending this out. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, of course, leave them uh, down below and I will do my best to get back to you. Otherwise, thanks for watching as always, you guys. I appreciate you and God bless.